Hello everyone. <clears throat> Here's my first impression of the Spyderco Para 3 Lightweight. I've been waiting for this for quite a while. I put the pre-order in once it became available. Uh, very excited about this one because I love my Para 2. Don't quite need anything this big for my EDC. So I actually find myself for the most part carrying either my Bird Metal Arc 2 or my Delica for Warncliffe. Uh, those are my go-to every day. It's perfect size, perfect weight. I actually really like their FRN. So when I saw the Para 3, I was very excited. So here it is. Very nice. Edge looks good. It's a little tight, I guess still gotta break it in. Pretty well centered, slightly off a little bit, uh, but I'll try to adjust that out. Razor sharp out of the box as expected from Spider Co. Let's see what the weight is compared to the Delica. So the FRN is pretty similar, but it actually looks a little more refined as compared to the Delica. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but you can see the ridges are a little bigger on the Delica uh, than on the Para. What I really like about it is all the edges are chamfered. I feel like this will be very comfortable in hand. Uh, so I just opened and it's the first time opening it, so I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to use it all this week and I'll see if there's any hot spots. This is one of my favorite clips from Spyderco. It's the deep carry wire clip. Okay, so let's see. Switch the grams here. So the Delica 4 with the titanium aftermarket deep carry clip is 65 grams. And this Para 3 lightweight is 68 grams, so pretty close. Now the steel this is the first pocket knife I have with the uh, CTS BD1N. You can't really see that there. Um, so it's my first pocket knife with the BD1N, but I do have a chef's knife uh, from Nexus. That's the BD1N, and I'm actually quite a big fan of that knife. Uh, easy to sharpen, holds an edge well, uh, and it's not very chippy either. I'd say it performs in the kitchen, performs pretty similar to a VG10, um, but it's much less chippy. I actually dropped it on the counter once, and the edge hit right on the corner of the counter. I was expecting it to chip, but uh, there's definitely some edge deformation, but it uh, sharpened right out and it didn't affect performance at all. Uh, so that's that. I do want to try to loosen this a little bit and see if it can close a little easier. Again, mean, the reason I was excited is I love my Delica and my Metal Lark, but it's a lot more fun to open and close a knife like this than it is with the back locks. The, I do like the action on my metal log. It drops pretty clear. But of course, this is just a lot more on the fidget factor opening and closing like this. So real basic, I'm not really gonna get into all the specs of the knife, all that of the knife, all that's available online. Uh, this was just my initial kind of unboxing and my initial impressions. Love the blade shape. Let's put it next to the Para 2 here. Basically it's little brother. Uh, so I'm going to use it for this week, and I'll probably post a follow-up video on my impressions of the knife in terms of ergonomics, comfort, uh, and how this steel performs. I'm going to use the crap out of it, get a little dull, see how easily it sharpens. 
That's that. Yeah, it's, it's nice and very comfortable in the hand, both here and if you choke up on it. Got some nice jimping uh, on the back as well as the front here. It's not too aggressive. It's pretty comfortable, but definitely good enough to get a good grip. Um, I'll probably do some cut tests with it as well. But yeah, I really like this FRN. It's probably hard to see with this lighting, but it's aggressive enough that you get a good grip on it, but it's not quite as pronounced as on the Delica, which does get a little irritating sometimes if you're cutting through zip tie after zip tie or taking down a lot of boxes. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, drop a like and subscribe if you like this video and I will be posting a kind of uh, usage video and some cut tests at some point.